everybody and welcome to Tech Chops. In this video I'll be having a go at setting up the Google Keyboard on my Fire Tablet. Google Keyboard otherwise known as Gboard depending on you know your desire is an on-screen keyboard which sort of resembles the keyboard that comes with your phone or tablet however the Google keyboard is packed full of handy features such as suggestions, word suggestions which are easy to reach as well as a voice typing feature and many more settings as we'll probably talk about in this video okay so let's go ahead and install the app Now, setting the Google Keyboard up on a Fire Tablet isn't totally new to myself. I have an idea on what to do because I have set it up on my old Fire Tablet. But again, now even though this setup process might be new on this newer version, there are one or two differences including the layout and that. But again, we'll talk through that in the video. So we'll just wait for the app to install. Alright, what I might do is while the app installs, I'll cut the video and then once it's installed, we will resume from there. Okay, we're back with you now, folks. It actually took quite a while to install, so when is that? So, most third-party applications of this nature, such as a keyboard, are system apps. So, that would be why they don't appear in the app launcher. But in this case, you can see the keyboard icon has appeared in the launcher. So, whether you choose to open the app or go to settings to keyboard and input, because you have installed it on your device it is still new and you need to tell the device that I have installed a keyboard and hope to use it in the feature you will still need to go to the input settings so rather than launch the app we could as well jump the gun a bit and open settings just above me All right. So once you've gone to settings, you'd need to go to the device options. So once we're in the device option, we'd need to. That's it. We need to go to the keyboard <coughs> and language section. So next you would need to go to the show slash hide keyboards and as you would see you have a list of keyboards. Now you will have to scroll through a long list and it doesn't matter whether you have opened the app or as, I, as you've just seen here gone to settings you will still need to go to this screen. So just bear with me while I go to the third party keyboards. Okay, let me just scroll up a little bit. And as you can see among the third party keyboards, Gboard is among them. Now, because it's a third party keyboard and is installed from a secondary source like the Play Store, it will come up with a warning which alerts us that this app could collect personal data such as passwords and that but then it's a keyboard and you'd obviously need to use the keyboard to type in information so we're just going to 
uh, click the OK button. And I think that's basically all we need to do for this section. So let me go back out of there. And when we click on the current keyboard, hopefully we should see the keyboard up. Yep. And the keyboard was among the list. So to test the new keyboard, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go back to the Play Store and search for another app which I'll feature in another video once I've done this. And that is so you can see what the keyboard looks like and its, and it's uh, other features and functions. Okay. So you may be able to see that this keyboard is slightly different because it's got your next word suggestions which appear at the top of the row of keys, particularly where you get the uh, QWERTY key row. So again, you know, the fact that they are easy to reach saves you having to go through various menus. And I have held on to the high icon, so it's probably popped up with some other suggestions which are equivalent to that word. I'm not too sure why the pop up was for. Now, I did say there was a voice typing feature, but I can't see in this section, so I think it appears in some boxes and not all. Rather than search for the app, because I've sort of you know, given up on that avenue, let us go and click on the Gboard app, which is still in the launcher, and have a look at its settings so I can show you what there is. So you get your as soon as you go to the settings icon or launch the app you would see that your different settings are broken into sections so it's not one long list so that is one good advantage have a quick look in the preferences you can adjust the keyboard height if you solely wish which I will do So, for screen reader users, you would need to double tap and hold and then drag your finger, and you'll probably see a list of windows load as I am doing that. I'll probably leave it at 75%, and as you can see above, it's got um, with tool and normal and when is that and one last thing is if you want to hide the app icon from your auction hang on a bit you'd need to go to the advanced settings and in here The show app icon is on, which we have just turned off. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos to come. And I will see you soon. Google Play. Voice view. Mm -hmm. Mobis, Mobis.